So yeah, today uh, I'm doing like a super super exciting project on the bus, but it's a scary at the same time. It's a scary one at the same time. I'm replacing the whole rear of the bus, and what I, what I mean exactly is um, removing everything that you can see here, and I'm gonna do a new one with uh, <clears throat> the. Um, the ceiling panels that I kept, uh, it's uh, all metal, um, it's galvanized metal, uh, so it's its good, it's great, it's already protected. And uh, I'm gonna use that metal and recreate the rear of the bus, except the door. I'm keeping the door, the door is uh, kind of okay, a little bit rusty at the bottom, but uh, it's repairable, uh, so I, I don't mind that. So yeah, I'm gonna remove everything and I'm going to remove all of this. I'm going to get rid of uh, the windows. Now the most important thing is to yeah, get rid of everything. So I've already started here by uh, uh, removing the rivets, the rivets, sorry, that kept the panel in place. Um, as you can see here, that was, uh, yeah, that was the rust. Um, it was not as bad as this when I bought the bus, but there was already this hole. There was already a small hole right here. Uh, but yeah, basically the rear of the bus was kept in a bad, bad condition. Uh, it was not well maintained. Um, it's part of the rent that I previously did on the video. It's, uh, it was, uh, it was complete incompetency. Uh, the way they managed to do this, they put uh, sheet metal on top of already rusted metal, so it rusted as well. And so, as you can see, that's the result of pure incompetency. And uh, yeah, so that's why I'm gonna have to replace everything and redo everything. So, this part of the box is kind of okay, as you can see, I've, I've already removed uh, the lights. Uh, on the other side, I don't need to remove the lights because I'm not going to use them. I'm not going to use them. I'm not going to use those as well. But I wanted to see uh, that the effect of the rust behind behind that. Um, so yeah, this part of the bus is kind of okay, but still rusty. So I'm going to get rid of those. Like I said, the door is kind of okay. I already have the new handle, uh, so I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, the other, the only part where rust is, is here and uh, on the hinge. But the hinge, I'm gonna remove them and I'm gonna buy new hinges. Uh, so this will like, this will look like brand new. I have to do this. It's very, very important. It's the last part of the exterior of the bus that I need to tackle before winter. Uh, all of the rivets have been removed already and it's already painted uh, so yeah so that's that's that part is done uh, I've started to uh, remove the, the, the this this panel so it's made in a <clears throat> the way that it's made so it's one complete piece of metal here that goes around that part <clears throat> and one other piece of metal here. The one tricky part although, uh, and I still don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Uh, <clears throat> the rear of the bus is not completely straight. Uh, it's, it's bent, uh, it's, it's a small degree, but it's, it's, it's bent. Uh, let me show it to you. So here it's, slightly bent and then the back of the bus it's completely straight so I'm gonna have to work that and uh, I need to buy uh, I need to buy tubings uh, because that's the only thing that I don't have right now and uh, I need to recreate the structure first and then apply the metal sheet that I'm gonna cut uh, to the exact dimensions so that's basically what I need to do uh, and I also have to cut what I can't basically remove and maybe you could 
see it here but uh, where the uh, emergency door uh, letters are uh, that's also where I'm gonna cut by using the angle grinder yeah so that's basically what I'm gonna do and then I'm gonna apply the new sheet of metal and I'm gonna redo everything but yeah it's a uh, <clears throat> It's a super fun, super exciting project, but at the same time, it's super scary because I'm gonna open the bus completely uh, and I'm gonna have to work fast. And, uh, and I have to say, I have to admit that there's some part of the job that I really, really don't know what I'm doing and what I will be doing. So <clears throat> yeah, exciting, but scary at the same time. But I have big projects. With, uh, with that bus uh, I know that I can I can do everything that I need that I want uh, I know I'm capable of what I'm capable of uh, and also on this project on the, the replacement of the rear bus I have a very very specific project that I want to do with that door and I'm super excited to show show you the end result because this will be very very different from what you'd be from what you see from the other school bus conversion it's going to be one of its kind and that's basically something special that i want to do with everything inside the bus or outside the bus <clears throat> every project that i that i do i want to do it every time i want to do one thing special one thing that it's extra but that is different because i don't want to having end up having uh, the same bus as everyone else i want to do something special i want to do something different something that is part of what i am <clears throat> and so that's that's why for this project i have something special extra special for the door that i can't wait to show to you to show it to you but first yeah let's uh let's get into work and uh, remove that Like that, the job is done. Now that the door is removed, so now it's uh, it's time to get rid of uh, both sides, and then I will start. Let me show it to you. I will start cutting just over that line here, right there, all along, because this kind of channel is a uh, very very rusty. So I need to I need to get rid of that. The way that I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna cut in uh, many pieces. Well, maybe, probably two, three. Yeah, I would cut three times. Uh, so this part here is uh, kind of uh, moving already. So it's already done. The only thing that I need to do right now is just uh, use the angle grinder, cut through that line, and then poof, let it uh, let it fall. And uh, I don't know if you could see it, but <laughs> I arranged here uh, the seat cushions uh, from the bus just to make sure that if it falls uh, well it's uh, not protected but it, it won't create any problem it won't bounce back and then like do whatever some crazy things uh, so next as soon as this 
panel is done uh, I'm gonna start working on this one this one is a little bit more sturdy it's a little bit it's less rusty uh, so uh, it's a little bit more solid I have difficulties it's not really moving I have, dif I have difficulties removing uh, the part on the side here right there um, so uh, I'm gonna have to use more of the angle grinder for sure uh, so yeah so first um, let's work on that side because it's almost done and then as soon as this part is completely removed then I will start working on the other side so yeah that's basically it so let's get into it So back at the bus <clears throat> and I made some advancements from uh, the last time uh, I just cut uh, I, I don't know if you would be able to see it but I just cut a kind of uh, the, the frame here underneath here and then right here and so now this thing is uh, moving the only thing that I need to do is I need to cut right here all along and then this window section will be will be gone. Uh, why I decided to remove this section especially it's because there's uh, too much rust underneath the, the window and uh, and so I don't really want to deal with that so uh, and also because it's the, the garage section right here uh, I don't really care about that window so I'm gonna just uh, uh, put a sheet metal on top of that on top of the hole that I'm creating and then that's that's pretty much it so um, so also one other thing that I did is I took the angle grinder with the, the metal disc and then I grinded uh, this uh, section here and on on the side as well so here I did the same thing here as you can see there is still the metal is still connected uh, right there 
and uh, the reason it's still connected right there is just I can't really access properly on, on, on that side so I'm trying to find a way to well simply like finish cutting the metal same thing here as you can see the cut is not done here but it's already cut there properly and on this side it's uh, cut as well but uh, underneath here it's not properly cut so so that's that's what I need to do one thing that I used last time that I uh, started cutting I use this uh, uh, metal uh, well metal saw uh, with this uh, this this uh, strip I don't know if it's the proper term but it's made especially to cut metal so right now it's a little bit um, it's it's a little bit difficult right now to cut through these specific parts that I showed you so probably one thing that I'm gonna try is to remove uh, the uh, this saw this metal strip from the saw so this will give me just a, a thin uh, a thin metal strip <laughs> uh, <clears throat> and that will be that will probably help me access those tiny spaces and keep cutting through the metal so that's that's what I'm gonna try because it's fairly fairly easy to cut through uh, and so well let's let's give it a shot so this part this is done this is done here this is done there now what I need to do is just keep cutting right here <clears throat> and it'll be almost done and why I say almost it's because the frame is still attached at the very bottom from here and here and also right there so these are the parts that I need to remove and for now I have technically no real good idea of uh, how I could remove this part easily so uh, this will this will be <clears throat> another trial and error all right so what I did uh, just after uh, shutting down the camera I just cut through here as you can see and here and uh, I'm just gonna push it and see if it falls on the ground onto the ground all right this is okay This uh, is the moment of truth. Uh, yeah.
Damn. It's, uh... Okay, okay. <laughs> it's completely removed now. So that's pretty much it for now for this uh, uh, rear removal. Um, and uh, so now what I need to do, I need to go to the uh, metal supermarket, <clears throat> buy some uh, square tubing. So this way I'm gonna be able to recreate the structure of the bus and then I will be able to recreate the rear the complete rear of the bus and now it's super cold and it's uh, it's uh, uh, it's getting late and uh, even though I have a hand warmer hand warmers on my gloves it's uh, not enough and uh, I'm yeah my hands are freezing right now so uh, I'm gonna patch up uh, the rear so I'm gonna take back the plastic sheet that I had before. I'm gonna put it back, uh, and, uh, and yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. So uh, see you later, guys.